Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Please be seated. I'm Masood Parang, Associate Dean for Academic and Student Affairs at the University of Tennessee College of Engineering. On behalf of the College of Engineering, I would like to welcome you to our uh, 2013 College of Engineering Spring Commencement. We'll begin today's ceremony with the presentation of our national colors and singing of our national anthem. Today's color guard is presented by the University of Tennessee Air Force ROTC Detachment 800. Would you please once again stand and gentlemen, please remove your caps for the presentation of the colors and join our soloist Linda Bremer from the University of Tennessee School of Music in singing the Star Spangled Banner. Please also remain standing for the retiring of the flag. Please be seated. Our thanks go to our soloist, Ms. Bremer, from the School of Music and the UT Air Force ROTC for their assistance with our opening ceremonies. Once again, we welcome you to our commencement ceremony. We are delighted that you could join us this morning to honor the accomplishment of the very special students. Now, to the students, I should say that you're the best graduating class yet in our College of Engineering history. <clears throat> I 
I know some of you are pleasantly surprised you're here graduating. <laughs> some are probably in shock. But to the rest of the audience, I say that since you will be applauding quite a bit this morning, so let's warm up by giving our graduating students a great round of applause. That was a nice warm-up. This 2013 commencement comes at a very special time for our college as we celebrate, most of you may know, our 175th anniversary of an engineering uh, instruction at the University of Tennessee. Dean Davis will give you more details during his remarks about the exciting events that are planned and will be going on this year. It's my honor to introduce the members of our stage party for today's ceremony, starting with Dr. Jimmy Cheek, Chancellor of the University of Tennessee, Dr. Wayne Davis, Dean of Engineering, Dr. Joseph DiPietro, President, University of Tennessee System, Mr. Dwight Hutchins, our commencement speaker. Dean Davis will give you more information about Mr. Hutchins later in the program. Dr. William Dunn, Associate Dean for Research and Technology, College of Engineering. Dr. Verla Keppens, Associate Dean for Faculty Affairs, College of Engineering. Lieutenant Colonel Brian Delemeter, Professor of Aerospace Studies, United States Air Force. Our College of Engineering Department Heads or Representatives are Dr. Brian Edwards, Associate Head of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering. Dr. Diakar Panamadu, Head of Civil and Environmental Engineering. Dr. Leon Tolbert, Head of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science Department. Dr. Rupi Sani, Head of Industrial and Systems Engineering. Dr. Kurt Sekifis, Head of Material Science and Engineering Department. Dr. Toby Boulay, Associate Head of Mechanical Aerospace and Biomedical Engineering. <laughs> yes, he's popular. That department is just the biggest department, that's where we get it. <laughs> and last but not least, Dr. Wesley Hines, Head of Nuclear Engineering Department. And our commencement ceremony announcer, Dr. Kevin Kitt, Associate Professor, Department of Material Science and Engineering. Dr. Kitt will be reading the names of our graduates as, though, as they approach to the stage later in order to be recognized. He's been practicing pronouncing your names. It's his first time. So college will not accept any responsibility for mispronunciation of your names. <laughs> the college will all li also like to express appreciation to the UT Office of Disability Services for providing our interpreters. We'll also like to thank the UT School of Music for providing wonderful music for the ceremony today. The members of our quartet are Annalise Bermudez, violin, Jeff Brennan, violin, Emily Zeta, Viola, and Amil Soleiman Cello. The faculty sponsor for the group is Dr. Miroslav Ristov. Yes. We thank the College of Engineering staff members and volunteers who are serving as greeters and ushers at this event. Warmest appreciation to various college, uh, college offices, including communications with Kim Coward as director, Mitchell Williamson and Randall Braun, College Advising Center, Marjorie Russell, director, Lisa Bird, Mike Taylor, Angela Miller, and Elizabeth Ferguson, our riser advisor. Thanks to Karen Lowe from the Academic and Student Affairs Office for her assistance with this event. I want to particularly recognize Angela McCarter, who is also with the Academic and Student Affairs for coordinating arrangements for this special occasion. And also thanks to Bandit Lights and their CEO, UT alumnus, Mike Strickland, for donating all the lighting for our ceremony today. Please join me in thanking these individuals for their contribution to our celebration. Please be seated. <laughs> it's my pleasure now to introduce Dr. Wayne Davis, Dean of Engineering at the University of Tennessee. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Davis.
Well, good morning and welcome to each of you, our students, our families, and, and your, your families, uh, your friends who are participating and, and watching the ceremony today, our faculty, and our administration. We welcome you to our 2013 commencement. As mentioned earlier uh, by Dr. Perrain, this commencement event is particularly significant because this year we are celebrating our 175th anniversary uh, of, the, of engineering at the University of Tennessee. In 1838, the first engineering course was taught at the, at, the, at the then East Tennessee College, which was the former name of the University of Tennessee, uh, in surveying. The students who are graduating today represent the distinguished history of our college, the dynamic present of our college, as well as the bright future of our College of Engineering. We're confident that there's a bright future that awaits each of you in, and the fact that you've worked so hard to try to, to get your engineering degrees and the accomplishments that you've made. You've seen our college actually grow during the years that you've been here. And let me share with you just a couple of those exciting things that have happened while you were here as students o over the last four to five years. First of all, we opened the new MinCal Electrical Engineering and Computer Science Building just over uh, about a year and a half or so ago. Uh, we are about to open the new John D. Tickle uh, Engineering Building, which will, which will house civil and environmental engineering as well as industrial and systems engineering. That building should open this summer uh, somewhere around late June, early July, and will certainly be fully open in time for fall classes, although you might not be here to participate in that unless you're staying for graduate school in one of those two departments, but, but it's a very exciting opportunity for us. I hope you have an opportunity to visit those, those new buildings as, as, they are, as they are already opened and or are being opened. Uh, I would also be remiss if I, I didn't indicate that we also have a very new planning program to build the next new College of Engineering building, and that, that planning will start in, uh, intensely this summer as a result of, of donations provided by two of our alumni, uh, two of whom I just mentioned actually, in the other two buildings who are gonna help us to move forward with our next new building, which would replace, uh, probably replace Estabrook and Pasqua or Perkins Hall, depending on what the university's decision is. But it's very exciting to be planning for even an, in, an, an even ever increasing number of students as well as faculty in our college. We're also celebrating uh, this year, the 40th anniversary of our engineering diversity program office. And that, that celebration along with the opening of the celebration opening for the Tickle Building will be on October the 4th. And uh, I'll mention that, say a little bit more about that in just a second. Uh, we're very proud of our uh, diversity programs here. Uh, they were started in 1973. In fact, our guest speaker, Dwight Hutchins, is a member of group number nine of our diversity initiative, which was at that time called the Minority Engineering Scholarship Program, or MESP. Uh, once again, I congratulate each of you for your accomplishments here today. We, we also hope that you will return in the future to visit us on the campus, that you will keep us in your thoughts and your, and your contributions to help us get even better. Uh, and we want you to stay in touch with us so that we can find out what your significant accomplishments are as you move into your career. So thanks once again. It's now my distinct honor and privilege to introduce our commencement speaker, Mr. Dwight Hutchins. Mr. Hutchins is a global managing director of Accenture's health and public service strategy practice in Washington, D.C., leading project teams around the world, helping clients to define their strategies, to reorganize, to increase their effectiveness, reduce costs, and transform their operations to become high-performing public sector organizations. Mr. Hutchins received his MPA from the John F. Kennedy School of Government at Harvard University, an MBA in Marketing and Finance from the J.L. Kellogg Graduate School of Management in North, at Northwestern University, and his B.S. 
degree in chemical engineering from here at the University of Tennessee. Prior to uh, uh, moving to Accenture, Mr. Hutchins was a consultant with McKinsey and Company and Bain and Company, focusing primarily on marketing strategies for Fortune 500 banks and business products companies. He started out as an engineering student here at the University of Tennessee, co-oping at the DuPont plant in Old Hickory, Tennessee. Uh, and shortly after graduation, he went to work in Jackson, Tennessee for Procter & Gamble. Mr. Hutchins joined Accenture 17 years ago to build a stra strategic practice focused on improving the performance of federal agencies, something with the, that we all know probably needs to be done. Over the course of building this practice, he's made contributions across a number of areas, including homeland security, health care reform, economic development, and perhaps more importantly to many of you, to student loan programs in, the, in this country. In health care, he worked with the Commonwealth of Massachusetts to develop its strategy and performance plans and assisted with the launch and improvement of their health insurance exchange program an agency that has served as a role model for many of our national health care reforms. His team just completed a project for the governor of Arizona on the actions of the state to grow its economy and jobs by over 75,000 people. He is advising clients also in Chicago and Atlanta on similar priorities. At the federal level, Dwight has led teams that have developed and implemented strategies to increase international trade and reduce delays at the border while increasing security. Specifically, he helped the Department of Homeland Security develop its plans for protecting our ports from threats and risk, including those posed by terrorists and weapons of mass effect. This plan became part of the White House's Homeland Security Council policy and was hand delivered by the Department of Homeland Security to every member of Congress. Internationally, he has led efforts for infrastructure investment in developing countries on behalf of the U.S. as well as the World Bank and the United Nations. For, for any of you that might have taken out a student loan or know someone who did, Mr. Hutchins led the initial phases of transforming the federal student aid program, U.S. De US Department of Education's $100 billion per year program into a world-class financial services operation and the government's first performance-based funding organization. Accenture designed, built, and runs the system that originated all the federal grants and loans in the country. The Congressional Budget Office has determined that this service provided via the department versus and compared to the banking industry that did this previously saves taxpayers over $60 billion per year while improving services to students. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our distinguished College of Engineering commencement speaker, Mr. Dwight Hutchins. Thank you, Dean Davis, uh, for that kind and long introduction. Um, and congratulations on the success here with the school. It's, it's really, really great to see uh, all of the fantastic things that are, that are being done here. Uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, to the Dean, the distinguished faculty and administrators of the College of Engineering, to the families and friends who've joined us for this celebration, to the members of the graduating class who we are here to honor, and thank you to the men and women who will receive their military commendation or commission today to serve our country, the latest standard bearers of our namesake, the volunteers. Climate change, health care, U.S. innovation, U.S. competitiveness, energy, protecting the homeland. The world desperately needs you and your talents. It needs your in inventions. It needs your innovations. It needs your problem-solving skills. When I sat there with you, or where you are, 25 years ago, there were no cell phones, no emails or websites, no CAT scans, MRIs, ultrasounds, no fracking for oil and gas. Faxing was a miracle. 
Your laptop today is more powerful than the mainframe I worked on at the university. There were no Garmin GPSs. There were no gigahertz processors or ISA PC buses, both invented by volunteers. These happened in the past 20 to 25 years. What will happen in the next 20 to 25 years? It will depend on you and the path you choose. What will we be celebrating about you at our school's bicentennial, our 200th anniversary of the engineering school? Some of you will invent. Some of you will invest. Some of you will start up and manage. Others will educate. Some will protect us all in the service of our country. Who will be the next Min Cow of Garmin? Who will be the next Nancy Cole on our engineering board? The next Mark Dean, holder of 20 patents, inventor of the PC bus from Jefferson City, and a member of Group 3 from the diversity program? Who will be Chad Holliday? Chairman of the Bank of America, former CEO of DuPont, sadly an industrial engineer. I thought he was a chemical engineer. Um, <laughs> if it's not going to be you, then who? You are our country's best trained, best educated, best prepared, and you are evolved. I say this with pride and confidence. I work at a global firm with 260,000 techies in 100 countries serving the global 500. Over the past 20 years, I have personally recruited hundreds of graduates from across Stanford, Harvard, Chicago, and Tennessee. UT has prepared you well. We just completed a national study of several thousand college graduates. Your skills are in demand. We need you. A few years ago, while I was here for homecoming, those were good times, um, I had dinner with 10 students from the diversity program that the dean mentioned. We had a conversation about business schools. They were interested. Six of those 10 ended up going to Harvard, Stanford, MIT, or my alma mater, Northwestern. One became a White House fellow in the Bush administration, working for, Dean, uh, for Rumsfeld in the Defense Department. He's now a partner at a venture capital firm investing in defense technologies to protect our country. Another is a senior vice president of a major bank in Chicago. I wish I had a, had dinner with 20 people. I could go on and on about them. The point is, by earning this degree from UT, you have been prepared and have proven you have what it takes to compete, to be successful, to make big contributions to society. Of course, you will still have to learn and grow, to work hard, to get a bit of help and guidance along the way. On that point of help and guidance, I think you're lucky to be at Tennessee. I know I am. Like he did with Mark Dean, and so many others, Fred Brown, the founder of the diversity programs, came to my house in Rome, Georgia, to convince me to go to college and to Tennessee. I'm glad he did. Else, I'd be still on the factory floor next to my dad, making a dollar over minimum wage like he did when he retired. UT Engineering took me from being a poor, clueless kid from a small town and prepared me well the people, the possibilities here. Here, I failed the only class I ever failed. Because Dr. Count, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> My intro to Kimmy Professor sounds like he's, he's still up to his old tricks. Um, he wanted me to learn to put everything into it and not just enough to get through. I stopped by last year to thank him for that lesson. Not, much, not so much for the grade, um, but what an intro to Kim E into life. 
At UT, I got my job at PNG down in Jackson. I came back for a quality management class, um, and, and, and that's where I discovered management. Uh, Professor Jenkins at the school <laughs> told me I should go to Northwestern if I was interested in marketing. I didn't think I could cut it. I didn't think I was cut out for it. I got in, and when I got there, there were dozens of students, classmates, each from Dartmouth, Yale, Princeton, Harvard. It goes on and on. I was freaked out by the Ivy. But the discipline that Dr. Counts taught me got me my first 4.0 ever. I learned that UT had prepared me well. If you got through the UT engineering program, you are prepared. Since then, I've had an opportunity to apply these problem-solving skills across all the things that the dean mentioned, so I won't take you back through it. Um, and my next adventure is to move to Singapore this summer to help run our management consulting practice in Asia. Uh, the area is home to half the world's population, and the region is growing fast. And if they consume like we consume, we'll need six more planets. So I don't think that's possible. Uh, I look forward to digging in. I know I'm prepared. As I said, I'm thankful to Tennessee for making this possible. I want to come back to share one view of what is possible. I also want to tell you that besides the hard work and continued learning that I know you will do, that the continued help and guidance that you will want is here at Tennessee. As a volunteer, you should stay connected to it. You should use it. You have earned more than a, than a degree here today. You have gained admission to a vast network of volunteers. Alone, you can accomplish a lot. With this network, from the dean, from Fred Brown, Dr. Counts, many others, you can accomplish anything. Be a volunteer. And I want you to know that good old Rocky Top will always be home sweet home to me. Thank you and congratulations. I look forward to hearing about your accomplishments. It's my honor at this time to present this plaque Dwight to you for your participation and to commemorate your helping us with our 2013 commencement ceremony. So. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce a very special guest at our commencement ceremony, Dr. Joseph DiPietro. He's the president of the University of Tennessee system, which of course consists of campuses, Knoxville, Martin, and Chattanooga, as well as the UT Health Science Center in Memphis, and the UT Institute of Agriculture, and UT Institute of Public Service. Dr. DiPietro became the 25th president of the University of Tennessee on January 1st, 2011. He also serves as chairman of the Board of Governors of UT Vattel, which manages Oak Ridge National Laboratory for the Department of Energy, and as a member of the University of Tennessee Board of Trustees. Prior to becoming president, Dr. DiPietro served as chancellor of the UT Institute of Agriculture from 2006 to 2010. We're very honored to have him here. I think this is his first time in our commencement. I think both chancellor Cheek, as well as President DiPietro are here. I think they just want to make sure you're graduating. <clears throat> uh, we are honored to his presence in our 2013 College of Engineering commencement. So please help me give a warm welcome to Dr. DiPietro. Uh, thank you, Masood. Um, first and foremost, on behalf of the University of Tennessee system, I'd like to extend my congratulations to all the graduates, families, and families and their friends. We're very, very proud of your accomplishment. And I know you've been through a rigorous, rigorous program, I guess I would say secondhand, because as, a, as I 
traversed my undergraduate experience, uh, my roommate uh, was a chemi. And, you know, uh, Dwight Hutchins told you about his experience and a professor who uh, said, you need to get better, you need to work harder, and you need to get uh, with it. Well, this fellow's name was Peter Wolf, and he always studied. And I was an aspiring uh, pre-veterinary student. And Peter's the guy in my life, Dwight, who said, you need to get with it, Joe. If you think you're going to get into vet school, you just got a D in physics, and you better crank it up. And so I, I learned good study habits from an engineer. And so I have a special uh, affection for you. The other thing I'll tell you that I'm very proud of is the performance of the College of Engineering here at Knoxville. We're obviously very proud of the product they produce. Uh, it seems like very frequently when I get around the state, uh, people are saying, so I need an engineer and I want one from Knoxville. And it speaks volumes to the talent of the faculty and the leadership of the college. In addition, we're very proud of the fact and very pleased, obviously, this year that the General Assembly and Governor Haslam elected to uh, allocate monies uh, to grow the College of Engineering by 20% over the next uh, few years. Now, you need to know that was a partnership between your dean, uh, your chancellor, who both had great ideas about how to leverage that situation and make it happen. But we really appreciate the commitment of our elected officials in advancing this College of Engineering and growing it out. It's had an exponential and extraordinary growth over the last handful of years, and we look for even greater things to happen in the future, and I commend the faculty, the dean, and the chancellor in that regard. You know, I t attend several commencements a year. I've got three or four yet, yet to do this year. They're all across the state, and each spring, it's my favorite time of year. Graduation, the earning of a degree, is why we're all here at the University of Tennessee. This is the purpose of our university, and we share in your joy today, no doubt. This is an exciting day, a culmination of many years of hard work. And I would tell you that it's a time for you to celebrate. It's um, a time for you to re reflect on your achievement. And if I were you, if I could give you one little piece of advice right now, it would be to look around this place and put it indelibly in your head, because I don't remember my commencement uh, from undergraduate school very well. Um, and I regret that, and so you need to uh, think about that a little bit as you enjoy your day. Lastly, uh, best wishes, uh, be well, uh, keep in touch, and Godspeed. Thank you. Thank you, President Pietro. At this time, I want to recognize the selected members of our College of Engineering faculty who are, have joined us for this ceremony today. They're sitting to my right. I would like to ask our professors who are here to please stand. Uh, please join me in acknowledging the outstanding faculty member who represent over 130 uh, faculty members in our College of Engineering. Now, ladies and gentlemen, may I direct your attention to the arena floor to present the candidates for graduation. It's my pleasure first to recognize our two top graduates in the College of Engineering. Please stand as I call your name to be recognized and remain standing. Jordan Richard Kreitzman, Aerospace Engineering. Scott Michael Strickler, Biomedical Engineering. I also like to recognize three students who are our 2013 National Academy of Engineering Grand Challenge Scholars. These students have completed additional challenging academic requirements as stipulated by the National Academy of Engineering Grand Challenges. They are, please, Stand as I call as I call your name, Morgan Rainey Balls, Chemical Engineering. <laughs> Ethan Zachariah, Chancellor, Aerospace Engineering. <laughs> and Caitlin Elizabeth Haas, Nuclear Engineering. <laughs> I 
please join me in congratulating our top graduates and our NAE Grand Challenge scholars. So now is the time. I would like to introduce our University of Tennessee Chancellor, Dr. Jim Cheek, who will officially confer the degrees. Thank you very much, Masood. Isn't it great to be a Tennessee volunteer? I am delighted to be here today and honored to congratulate all of our graduates as you become an alumni of this great institution. Dwight, we greatly appreciate you being here. Uh, I've known you almost since I, uh, the four years I've been here, and Dwight has represented our college and our university extremely well. And we thank you for what you've done today with this presentation that you made. And J Joe, my roommate, was a chemical engineer. Um, but I had to teach him how to study. So I <laughs> uh, it's interesting things you learn as you go through life. Each of you have learned to think critically, to communicate, and to lead. You have one of our alumni here who was sitting in your place 25 years ago, and he has demonstrated those characteristics that I've just talked about. Each of you have big ideas and have the capacity and I hope the drive to change the world. This is a great day for you and your family and friends and I'm proud that I'm ha here to share it with you. Now, if all the degree candidates would please stand. By your presence today, you have demonstrated that you have completed all the necessary requirements for your degree and have been recommended for graduation by the faculty in the College of Engineering. Therefore, by virtue of the authority of the state of Tennessee, vested in our Board of Trustees of the University of Tennessee, delegated, delegated to the president of the University of Tennessee system, Dr. Joe DiPietro, and then he delegated this to me, it gives me great pleasure to confer upon the on you the degrees for which you have been recommended. You may now move your tassels from right to left. So join me in congratulating our graduates. Please be seated. Each of you now become part of a powerful worldwide network of alumni and you have the pride of being a Tennessee volunteer. I ask you to always remember that you're a volunteer. Stay involved with our institution. Remain active and invest in your university. I wish you much success as you leave the university and become very productive and successful citizens and I look forward to seeing your progress in your chosen careers. Thank you very much and congratulations. I would like now to ask the audience to remain seated as our graduates step forward to be recognized. Dr. Kevin Kitt will announce each student's name as he or she walks across the stage. Please remain silent, or at least try to. As each name is announced, so each graduate will receive his due recognition. We also ask you that you refrain from approaching the stage to take photos and to hold your applause until all graduates have finished crossing the stage. Also, please keep all cell phones quiet. Thank you. Presenting the graduates from the Department of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering, Ryan M. Roman. <laughs> Jacob Edward Lytle. Blake Chancellor Lingerfelt. Yeah. 
Samantha Lynn Davis. Dennis Clinton Kennummer. Robert Fanning Bursley. Kendrick Lynn Stiles. Seth Ryan Willis. Carrie Ann Lloyd. Christopher Michael DeLuca. Daniel Donovan Forte. Ian Hawkins Little. Morgan Rainey Baltz. Akshitha Reddy Yarabathula. Kevin Patrick Spellman. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Lutz. Michael Mentz. Christopher William Graves. Rachel Aaron Davis. Stephanie Janelle Miller. Aaron Christopher Oswald. James Allen Templeton. Stephen Wayne Marshall. Cheryl Ann Jackson. Sean Jason Chavis. Rachel Nicole Dunlap. S. Evan Wilson. <laughs> Bin Zhang. James Clark McAdoo. Graduates of the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, Jordan Taylor Harris, Jason Anthony Hill, Darren Christopher Hahn, Joshua Winfield Metz, Barry Nolan Blanton. <laughs> Matthew Williams Applin. Gabriel Lillian Sobel. Britton Allen Elmore.
Thomas Brian Williamson. Mark Allen Rizzatiello. Macario Reyes. Jason Miles McDaniel. Charles David Feller. Joseph Andrew Appleby. Michael Bernard Bazansini. Stephen Ray Gresham. Garrett Lee Singleton. Jonathan Andrew Vest. Jeffrey Roland Bampfield. Jordan Thomas Sprouse. Jacob Rylan Holloway. Matthew Ryan Rule. Jordan Dale Livesey. Blake Hansen. Andrew Craig Luthold. John Daniel Castleman. Thomas Alexander Ivy. <laughs> Joseph Carter McCall. Terry Eugene Ward. Andrew Robert Colbert. Luis Diego Venegas Branis. Nathan Werner Faust. Patrick Thomas Kaminsky. Christian Randall Kennedy. Corey Rose Crenshaw. Kevin Chu. Graduates from the Department of Electrical Engineering and Computer Science. Brian Douglas Paul. Thomas Sidney Swearingen. Artun Nikolaevich Gnatyuk. Gary Thomas Podgorski. Alan Gregory Hancock. Carrie Nicole Memory. Dwayne William Flaherty. Misha Simone Buckler. Joshua Kane Jeffries.
Daniel James Bauer. Alexander James Saites. Carl Douglas Slater. Thomas Warren DeWitt. Michael Thomas Mosty. Casey Glenn Baca. Cameron Cody Boyles. Dennis Olegovic Turkasan, Turk Turkin. Christopher Mark Cooper. Adam Wayne Disney. Greg Scott Billings. Nathan Allen Roberts. James Matthew Garner. Daniel Aaron Thomas. Nathan David Zybart. Jason David Light. Raymond Poon. Dennis William Ruff. Kelvin Paul Daniel Barner. Robert Allen Rogers. Stephen Mark Barber. Joseph Dean Edwards. Bradley James Hedrick. Benjamin Calvin Carson Carlson. Arpit Mukul Dave. Candace Elise Patton. Devin Patrick Handler. Preston Lawrence Childress. Young Chow Yu. Stephen Morio Oi. Kevin Michael Lovell. Chanel Nicole Crawford Harris. Brett Allen Gallagher. Megan Elizabeth Williams. Nicholas Conley Poor. Jacob Hunter Shelton. Logan Smith Taylor. James Kelly Griffin. Mark Langley Gill.
see Mohammed Tarkani. Graduates from the Department of Industrial and Systems Engineering. Elias Askins. Amber Victoria Ingram. Taylor Andrew Fullerton. Christopher Aaron Dunn. Jordan Michael Hayes. Jack Ryan Smodic. Brandon Davis Falls. Jonathan Andrew Wood. Harrison Miller Stringfellow. Spencer Lawrence Williams. Thomas Joseph Thurman. Lanier Michelle Lofton. Bradford Daniel Taylor. William Stankel Glass. Catherine K. Julson. Kelsey Lynn Jader. Eddie Doss Etherly. Stacy Joe Arnold. Graduates from the Department of Material Science and Engineering, Elijah Duncan Barlow. Trevor Alexander Pate. Christopher Brandon Shaver. Alexander Wilson Paradise. Nikki Lee Hanold. Brett Bloxton Lewis. Charles David Borenstein. Nathan Kieran Meek. Michael Garrison Stanford. Eric William White. Benjamin Joe Wing. Guo Yu Jia. Graduates from the Department of Mechanical Aerospace and Biomedical Engineering. 
Jacob, Dale, Brisby. Joseph, Hannah. Ryan, Lee, Sawyers. Jin Sen Chen. James, Brian, Corhorn. Ryan, Griffin, Burnett. Christopher, Richard, Potter. Rachel, Ann, Preston. Hogan, Donald, Harold. Matthew, Blake, Harold. Ethan, Zachariah, Kanzler. Matthew, Campbell, Green. Caroline, I, Simmons. And she was number one! Benjamin, Edward, Whitehead. Jordan, Richard, Kreitzman. Brian Michael Hampton. Chad Kirby Fuel. Thomas David Winter. Adam Wesley Evans. Arian Seji Nassab. Trevor Ryan Wilson. Matthew David Williamson. Dmitry Alichevich Faulkner. Walter Lafayette Barnes. Cameron Scott Jans. Ryan Joseph Stevenson. Brian Thomas Petrie. Mary Catherine Bailey. Woo! Hannah Marie Myers. <laughs> Taylor Elise Schlotman. <laughs> Colin Graves Hauser. Trevor Ferdinand Greco. Kristen Alana Richard. Andrea Nicole Boyer. Patrick Michael Cavini. Eric Todd Lindsay. Landon Tyler Boland. Scott Michael Strickler. Aniran Kirit Patel. Eric Joel Padro. Michael Sanders Parker.
Clifton McLean Blaylock. Hunter Thomas Vickers. Devin J. Mosley. Erica Martina Hawkins. Chandler Andre Wallace. Scott Daniel Golobin. Anna Jean Davis. Caroline Assisium Hunter. Eric Glenn Biggerell. Ethan Edwin Carter. Kevin Michael Crouch. Cody Lee Strickland. Jessica Elise Rhine. Philip Evan Reamer. Erica Michelle Finley. John Burkell Berg. Ryan Dale Prater. Matthew Lee Roberts. Neil Richard Ganey. Thomas Charles Thomason. Joshua Daniel Carmichael. David Thorpe Hamblin. Benjamin Wilson Pritchett. Ushraf Osama El Masidi. Matthew Gabriel Bush. Michael David Potts. Mitchell Ray Rieger. Jeremy Allen Hip. Zachary Martin Hayden. Matthew William Fasano. Benjamin Tate Fredericks. Michael Amin Kirksick. Ty Ren Kelker. Stuart Alexander Boyce. Brian Lee Faulkner. Matthew Thomas Kelly. Zachary Robert Ladoser. Daniel Robin Kineshti. Adrian Daniel Womack. Randy Lawrence Lucebrink. 
Christopher Jordan Clark. Andy Dale Phillips. Nicholas John Victor. Corey Joe Young. Brian Michael Eswine. Taylor Augustus Locke. Walter Mills Bishop. Evan Elias Harb. Brandon Michael Waller. Russell Thomas Graves. Kevin Marshall O'Rear. James Albert Hunter. <laughs> Newton Hunter Culbertson. Eric Andrew Spragans. Ross Edward Daniel. Bradley Jacob Eckel. Arissa Prutianen. The graduates of the Department of Nuclear Engineering Arthur, Arthur Robert Knotts. Alexandra Amelia Nova Pop Popova. Caitlin Elizabeth Haas. Natalie Ann McGurl. Jonathan Edward Hackleton. Matthew Scott Fannin. Ian Robert Stewart. Carol Leslie Hafine. David Allen Cooper. Harrison Stewart Bogema. Richard Blake Ross. James Christopher Kilby. Bradley Justin Melton. Benjamin Kelly Smith. William Travis Owens. Remy Russell DeVoe. James Nathan Cantrell. Lee Andrew Winterstrom. Matthew Robert Rosima. Nicholas Duncan Dement. Philip Broughton.
Stephen Luke Stribling. Joel Kenneth Sossman. Brett Allen Fiddler. Jared Philip Oxier. Thaddeus John Cole. Andrea Lee Gingrich. Katie Lynn Sullivan. Erica Noel Carico. Peter Eric Collins. Jonathan Forrest Wilson. Aaron Patrick Selby. Mark Alexander Dreifke. Kyle Thomas Fletcher. Nikki Ann Arkamusi. Stephanie Agaza Long. Ryan Terrence Sweet. Kelly Renee Kenner. Stephen Eric Reynolds. Daniel Ryan Wentz. Brandon Alexander Perlov. Emily Christine Smith. Michael George Pastis. Mark Frederick Platfoot. Well, on behalf of the Tennessee College of Engineering, I extend to you our graduates and our congratulations and very best wishes. Now you can make noise. Now that's some noise. I would like uh, to welcome Lieutenant Colonel Brian Delemeter, who will commission two of our graduates into the United States Armed Forces. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Parang. What a proud day. I'd first like to thank the University of Tennessee and the College of Engineering for letting me commission these two individuals as part of this commencement ceremony. And of course, I'd like to congratulate all the graduates. Uh, what a tremendous accomplishment. Ladies and gentlemen, the two young men making their way to the stage right now, Joseph Appleby and David Winter, have stepped up to be officers in the United States Air Force.
before I administer their oath, I'd like to say just a few words. During uncertain times, with our nation's military engaged globally as well as defending our homeland, these young men have answered our nation's call to serve and to lead in our armed forces. They've dedicated their talent, skill, time, and energy to not only succeed academically and earn this challenging degree, but also to develop as leaders in a very selective and rigorous training program, and they have excelled in both endeavors. They will now join a military force that not only provides our nation with an umbrella of security and freedom that most of us take for granted, but also a military that routinely goes into harm's way to provide humanitarian aid to victims of natural disasters, oppressive regimes, and other hardships around the globe daily. And they do this willingly as volunteers. Once they finish this oath, these young men, as second lieutenants, will outrank 80% of the United States military. With, with this rank comes a great responsibility as they will be given charge of our nation's most precious resource, the young men and women that will serve under their leadership. I want to thank the commissionees for the dedication it took to get them to this point, and I'd like to thank them in advance for the hardships that they will endure and the sacrifices they will make the separations from family and the dangers that they will face. And certainly I'd like to congratulate them and wish them all the best on the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead. And now, if the officer candidates would come to attention, raise their right hands and repeat after me. I state your name. Having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Air Force, do you solemnly swear that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the two newest second lieutenants in the United States Air Force. Thank you, Lieutenant Colonel Billy Major, and congratulations to our new Air Force officers. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's, it's now time to join together in uh, singing the University of Tennessee alma mater. I know you're perfectly familiar with all the lyrics, but just in case, and to avoid confusion with Rocky Tops, the words and music are on page 20 of your program copy. Please stand.
Please be seated. As we conclude this ceremony, and on behalf of the University of Tennessee College of Engineering, I'll extend to you our graduates, warmest congratulations, and wish you the greatest success and happiness in your careers. Please keep in touch with the college, your departments, and the faculty members who have helped you to get to this point in your lives. Your success is truly their success as well. Let's give all of our graduates Another round of applause. I know. And I'd like to ask you, the graduates, to show your appreciation to all those members of our family friends, and loves who support and love over the years made your achievement possible. So let's see a noisy, rousing round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this marks the end of our College of Engineering uh, the commencement ceremony. We appreciate your attendance today. As a reminder, you may use the uh, stage setting for photos after the ceremony. And I'm told we must vacate the Thompson Bowling Arena by 1.30. We will now clear the stage for fo uh, photographs. We request that you remain standing until the academic procession exits the stage. And I now would like to ask the stage party and our faculty members to join me in the recessional as we conclude our commencement ceremony. Thank you, thank you for your attendance and please enjoy the rest of this special day.